Hi, I'm Tam Stone, and today I'm going to share with you about decorative Chinese furnishings. Anyone who knows me knows I have a passion for all decorative arts, and the beautiful lacquered furnishings of the various Chinese dynasties are no exception. The most beautiful examples of Chinese decorative arts can typically be found in their cabinet making as well as in their folding screens. Armoires and wardrobe cabinets as we use them today are actually an invention of the Western society and are still a rarity today even throughout the most progressive areas of China. They weren't even available during the Ming Dynasty as the Chinese would never hang their clothes vertically but would rather lie them flat as the cabinets typically became primary storage facilities for the entire household. The most popular style of cabinet was the square cornered cabinet with vertical sides and doors mounted on metal hinges. These were often placed in pairs in the home in a very symmetrical fashion. The cabins, cabinets were often lavishly decorated with pictorial landscapes and red and black lacquer with gold designs. And while I was at market this spring, I came across Stephanie and Tracy M of Kong Xing Lung. They are the second generation of their family to be working in the family business where they faithfully reproduce these beautiful Chinese antiques. Each piece is handmade in their facilities in China and they use hand painting techniques as well as metal leafing to create their elaborate designs. Join me for a minute as we listen to Stephanie describe the symbology of the pictures that are lacquered onto one of these beautiful screens. So it is not just a screen or a boom divider. Indeed, um, it represents something. It tells us a story about the Chinese culture. It tells us about the empire, how they celebrate their birthday. You can see from the whole screen, the empress and the emperor are sitting in the palace and all the officers are surround them. All of them bring valuable and meaningful presents to the empire. From the Chinese wording, you can see it means they want the empire to have a happy and long life. Isn't she just the cutest? All images in the synopsis are courtesy of Kong Xing Lung and are nice examples of modern reproductions of antique painted furnishings.